Hello everybody, I'm Caleb Goldberg from RI3D at Penn State, and we will be talking about the intake and shooter mechanisms. To start off, we had two prototyping groups, one to prototype an intake with a kicker mechanism, that is a bar of rollers that sit along the underside of the robot to kick up the ball, and one without the kicker mechanism. These groups found that a kicker mechanism was not needed for our intake system, and that's why we have it here today without the kicker. As the ball goes into the mechanism, it gets pulled up in and then indexes with these top wheels. Originally, we were having problems with balls spinning right here. So we added a trap door to push them into our hopper. Following our path, we make it down to the shooter mechanism. This indexing bar waits for the flywheels to start spinning up and then shoots our ball. The entire robot functions as one large pipe. So we are shooting just as fast as we are intaking. This means that we can snow blow balls from one side to the other. So that is driving dead center and then shooting as many balls as we can to our alliance side. The downsides with this shooter, however, are that there's a lot of top spin. So that means when the ball goes into the hub, it has a very high chance of going out of the hub. What we could see in the future is ways to mitigate this top spin and make a more accurate shooter. What we were shooting in tests was roughly eight out of every 10 balls we're making it in. And with proper dialing in of the shooter, we think this could get up to nine or 10. Another important part of this mechanism is the flywheel system. The power of two NEOs was not enough to continuously shoot balls in this mechanism. So we need to add flywheels to keep those RPMs high. I'm excited to see your designs and I hope this inspires you to build something new.